What's up gamers, this is Out of Step from DorkFeast.com and this is my review of the Xbox One, Microsoft's latest gaming console, released in November just in time for Christmas. First let's talk about the cosmetics and overall visual appeal of the new system. They went with a glossy black theme this time, which is nice because the white systems get dirtier. The system is a lot boxier this go around and it's also a bit larger. Your standard Xbox 360 accessories won't work, but there are mods to get around that. Just don't do anything to get yourself banned, void your warranty, or even possibly injured. Next up is the dashboard. The, the new dashboard is streamlined and styled like Windows 8 with the ability to pin tiles. So here we're going through navigating the dashboard and say I want to pin Forza, one of my new games. So you go to the game, press start, and you're able to pin the game to home. And now if you look over here under my pins, or under pins, for the Forza tile shows up. Now one of the cool things is uh, the multitasking that the new system does. So say we're starting up a game here. And the game, we're going to start the game. But maybe we want to look up to see if there's any uh, any new codes or any secrets out for Forza. So you can press the center button, which no longer brings up a menu. It just takes you back to your dashboard. And then say I want to go to my apps. And then go to Internet Explorer. I'm just going to bring up your web browser. And let's say maybe you want to check dorkfeast.com to see if there's any new release information about Forza 5. And it's using Bing, so it's going to be a little slow. <laughs> Alright, so here's the site loading up. And then we can say browse throughs, check to see if there's any Forza stuff yet. But no, we haven't done Forza yet. So you're able to press B and go back, and that's going to take you back through the menus, kind of, kind of like a tablet or Android would. You go back and back, keep pressing B, back to your dashboard, and then back into your game. So the ability to multitask is nice. They took away the center button menu for the <coughs> which. To me, it was kind of the biggest part of getting used to because I was such a heavy center button user on the 360. Um, here you can show the party system. Um, you can snap party so it pops up while you're you know doing the game. And you can then you know start a party. You can either do this with the controller or with your voice commands. Um, so you want to turn on a party chat. Before you can invite people, you need to start the party, obviously. And now we can invite people. Takes it a second to load everything up.
and this is the friends list display. It's a little different. Just taking some getting used to. One of the things they don't have recent players on it. But let's see if we can find somebody to see. Uh, let's invite Jill to a party. It's always a party when Jill's there. And invite. And you can see the new notification style there. Um, your your uh, achievements and your uh, messages will appear similar to that. And then of course you can unsnap the party once you're done. And you can unsnap it while you're in the party too. It just this is for demonstration purposes. Let's go back to the dashboard. Uh, this is the store now. You have different sections: games, movies, music, and apps. And go into the games. There's different submenus in within each category. So you got your new arrivals, releases, uh, top game demos, top selling, top rated categories there, and you can click the little three dots section or dots below each section and get an expanded view of that category as well. Assess the uh, stores basically, and then you have you know, your pins over on the left side, and of course, your home screen in the center. You install your games now, um, which is good for your DVD lasers because I know I was notorious for bringing out lasers. Um, but back to the no recent players, you know, you're not gonna be able to tell, you know, who you were in a game with, and won't be able to go back and invite them. Like I used to do that. Like uh, I would finish a game before I'd go back and send a friend request to people I was playing with, or you know, maybe you want to mute a specific player. You won't have a listing of recent players anymore. You're know, just gonna have your friends that are online. You can change the view to show who's online only or things like that, but just still no recent players. So it'll be interesting to see how they keep players connected. Thanks for watching.